Hi, my name is Eric Wilson. I'm an independent licensed mechanic with 25 years of service. In the next five minutes, I'm going to show you the inside story on this O2 Dodge Dakota four-wheel drive so you can make an informed decision whether this is for you or not. Now, starting off with the left front tire, these tires have got lots of tread in them, very aggressive tread. Uh, come swinging into, the, uh, into your shock. A little bit of moisture on your shock there, but I didn't notice the front end really bad. Uh, your... Uh, your CV boot nice and intact, your CV boot on the inner intact, uh, everything's been well greased in this thing that I can see, been well maintained as far as, uh, as uh, grease goes. Now, checking for the outer tie rods, and they are intact, and this is your outer tie rod, and I just checked that there, and that is good and intact, and that's very important because that's what keeps uh, the wheel to the steering on the front left. Okay, just a quick shot of your uh, motor. No visible leaks that I can see. This is your front end, your front diff. In fact, the front diff has been changed because that's a wrecker mark. So somebody's put a, some work and money into this uh, vehicle here. Now coming over to the front left, this is your outer this is your outer tie rod. Your shock on this side is dry, so there's no issue on that. Your CV boot is intact. Your CV boot is intact in there. Again, uh, lots of grease, well maintained. And uh, coming around checking the outer tie rod on the front right, and it is good and intact and again that's your front that's your other tie rod right there which is good and strong uh your front right tire lots and lots of tread okay rear left tire again lots and lots of tread uh your rear shock good and dry your diff good and dry your not seeing anything here on your brake system you've got on your brakes you've got about oh, about 30,000 K left on the rear brakes. Your springs, good and intact. Rust, not too shabby actually for this uh, year of a vehicle. Okay, you got a, got a brand new muffler on this thing. Uh, on your right rear tire, lots and lots of tread. Same thing, 30,000 K on your brakes. Not seeing any visible leaks. Spring, intact. Yeah, looking good on the and your shock. Uh, good and dry on the rear right. Downside, you got rusted out quarter or uh, wheel wells and quarters and door. So yeah, a lot of rust in this puppy here. Right side, same deal. Uh, uh, wheel well is rusted up pretty good. The door is, bottom of the door is rusted up pretty good. Yeah, this has got lots of rust issues. Uh, so body-wise, not the greatest, but uh, mechanically so far, not too shabby. Okay, and the back, nice and clean interior. Okay, nice, not too shabby on the interior here. Okay, three... 367, 897, so high, high K, but uh, I got a feeling someone's changed the motor in this thing because it's just running, uh, running great. I know they changed the diff. They might even have changed the motor. I can't say that for certain. A windshield cracked, interior, nice looking, uh, your dash is all good. Nice looking interior. Let's come out and we'll check the motor now. Uh, no check engine lights, low on gas, that's all. Uh, the main thing I do, I check uh, on the front motor of any motor is I check underneath the oil cap, which is just the oil cap here, and I check for any kind of white goo, and this is clean, which is good because that would mean white goo is, uh, is an uh, indication of, uh, of an internal leak, and I'm not seeing any on this motor, and yeah, the, you got record marks on the, mo on the I got record marks on the, uh, on the alternator here, so somebody's changed the alternator. So somebody's done a lot of work in this thing. This is a 4.7 liter V8, uh, lots of power, 
four-wheel drive, works great, tried it out. Uh, folks, that's pretty much what I call the five-minute estimation of what this is. And uh, this is open to offers. Give me a call, make me an offer, and uh, best fun wins, folks.